guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shay. I'm a full-time reseller on Poshmark, eBay, and Macari. I'm a part-time reseller on Poshmark, eBay, and Macari. What's your name? And I'm Tyler. <laughs> um, and I've done this before, I swear. <laughs> like, this is not my first video. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, you're not new. I didn't replace you, but with, this is not a new Tyler, or not Tyler. <laughs> Anyways, um, we are back with a haul video, and we mentioned in the last video this was going to be a good one, so it yeah, is. Yeah, thoroughly good. It is. So if you guys like reseller content, haul videos, all that type of stuff, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so you're notified and every time we don't think I've videos. forgotten to mention the thrift loyalist. Tell her to do one, Ugh. because we need to get her out and doing things. Anyways, we post new videos every Sunday and Wednesday, and yes, we are open to suggestions on what type of content you want to see, and Thrift With Us is something that he has been pushing, and he wants to know if you guys want to see it, because I am too nervous to do it, so thank you for bringing it up every video. Oh yeah, I'm going to keep bringing it up until you do it. <sighs> anyway, so give this video a big thumbs up so we know that you're enjoying the content and you want to keep coming back, and comment down below uh, what your favorite find was and how you do with the brands that we are about to show you. So. You wanted to show something before oh, we get into the this. hall. So let's do that first. Let's get that out of the way. So my lovely wife, for my birthday, uh, which was not too long ago, got me a new wallet because my old wallet was... A bit much. Well, my old wallet was falling apart. Yeah. Like, oh, actually yeah. ripped it to pieces and didn't hold anything. So she got me a new wallet, and she got me a Croc embossed ramen. Mm-hmm. And this is all new to me. Yes. So he actually nice asked for this. I didn't just get him one because my reseller ways told me to. He wanted one. Yeah. I think we've had uh, too much experience with ramen at this point. I mean, they're great. They're so. wonderful. They sell very well. And if you don't already sell that brand, I recommend picking it up anytime you Buy see it. Buy them all. Buy all of them. Yeah, all of them. Even if they're in poor condition, if it's, in a, if it's a good price, probably 15 and below. I mean, depending on the condition, 10 below. Yeah. I mean, you paid five bucks for a wristlet that sold for 50, so. Yeah, it'll... so below $10, you're probably all set. Um, if it's a great condition, you could probably even go up to like 20, so. 20, 30 bucks, I, I mean, if it's, we spent 30 bucks on one that sold for 250. This is very true, so, this is very true, so. It's, they're, they're worth at least considering, regardless of how they look, Yes. so. Yes. So, anyways, do you want to start there since you are? No, we're going to save that. So, oh. <laughs> how dare you? How dare you? So, this is a soft surroundings, petite, extra small. It is ludicrously soft. It's wicked soft, and honestly, it's I also, loved the little pockets. It's also got pockets. Matter. I mean, you all complain about not having pockets, so. You all. You all. Y'all. All y'all. I don't know if you can see, but it is a size extra small petite, and it is, it's so, like, it's loungewear, right? And I mean, that's what we all need these days. Yeah. I mean, it's also a nice corally color. I don't know how to explain that other than that. This is Athleta dress, extra small, more outrageously comfortable Yeah. No, I don't normally... Mini dress pick up Athleta, but it was so soft and it was half price, which, you know, that always tells me I gotta try it. But yeah, I don't, I didn't actually look and see, hold on, I wanted to see what the year was. 2014, so it's not a new, but you know, if I have to keep it, I'm, I'm not gonna cry about it. She'll, she'll wear it, cause it's comfortable. Uh, so this is J. Jill Medium, corduroy, tunic. Yeah, and it just has a really cute little, Hum and cuff, there we go. They're both the same, so whatever you can see, you can see. It's very cute. It's very adorable and comfortable and hey. I mean, yeah, loungewear is in. If you're not buying loungewear, you're missing out. Like everything in here is comfortable for the most part. I mean, my life is comfortable yeah. clothing, so. So this is Zara with the statement sleeve. <sighs> Look at those sleeves. And who picked this out? I picked this out. Yes, you Thank did. You it's also outrageously soft. It's a medium. So it's my size is what you're telling me? It is. Uh, so yeah. we spent this whole thrift trip basically going back and forth trying to outdo each other with the finds. <laughs> yes, we it did. Was, it was a war of the finds. Who won? Do we know? I don't know. We're going to have to compare the piles at the end of this. So this is free people. This is extra small, which is an, it's an oversized extra small, which is their thing. Right. It's also got the raw it's ham. It's like waffle knit. 
oversized. Um, there are a few spots where we're not sure if it's separated or if it's I mean, just designed that way, but I think it's designed that way personally, but but it's very comfortable again, and so we're in for that. Yeah. Uh, so this is one of your favorite finds. Yes, this is new without tags. Gal meets glam, size ten. And he's saying new without tags because it has a team at TJ Maxx tag, which we are going to remove yeah. because the price on it is twenty dollars. Compare it twenty five. I don't know who priced that. Thing. Who's who's spending twenty five dollars on Gal meets glam? Yeah. And teach me your ways because that's not a thing. But it is pleated. Um, skirt, and I don't know if you guys know, but Galmeet's Glam is no longer in business. They have decided to close down that and they're going to start a different way to uh, make clothing, maybe under a different name or whatever it's going to be. But and they've also got that nice so, texture. Um, it's kind of a, a woven pattern. Yes, it's very nice. So I do think that their stuff is going to be in more demand since it is no longer being made. So I'm excited about that. So this is Theory, size medium. Yes, now this isn't something we would normally grab because it is very plain, but it was very cheap. And sometimes the classic pieces actually do okay. And there you go. It is an older tag, but hey, you know, it's got a collared neck. I don't think you can see much because it's black, but hey. It's also soft. So yeah. so this is... You pick this out. He can, he can take total credit for this. Bailey 44. Uh, it's a size large. It's... Crushed velvet, which I thought my wife would love. It's got that cool metal acid wash look to it. It's got something. It's got some. It's got statement sleeves. It so. does have statement sleeves. So it's, uh, it's nice. Yeah. Aren't we always saying that ugly will sell? Yes, and that is what I said when I agreed to put it in the cart, didn't I? Uh, so this is ASTR, the label, size small couple minor stains that I can get out. Yeah, no, I don't sell a lot of ASTR because it's one of those brands that it sells but doesn't sell for a lot. But I thought the boho look was really cute and I thought, you know, I don't know, I like the ruffle collar, like all that kind of stuff. So I think it'll be okay. We shall see. Yeah. Plus it's comfy feeling. All right, so this is Dreamers, size small. Small M, small medium? Uh, small medium, yeah. So we've actually sold something else by this brand. It sold pretty quickly within a few weeks. And uh, very similar to this. Oversized, comfy sweater. So, mm. eh, you know, I mean, nothing it's super got nice, exciting, cool but hey. Overlapped collar on the front. So, yeah. It's cute. I mean, eh. Next is J. Jill, size small. Yep. So it's embroidered, boho. Size small, there we go. It's very it's pretty. Tassels. It's got the tassel -y look. It's got great detailing. And you picked this out because you loved everything about it. And because we've sold another J. Jill embroidered dress not too long ago for a good price. So I figured, why not give it a shot? Yeah. Especially with the price that we need to pay. So this is, this is my find. Uh, it's Zara. Outerwear, it's a coat, but it's not a very thick coat. Uh, size medium. Yeah, and the embroidery on this is beautiful. Yeah. I don't know how much you can see. I'll try to. Um, I think you can see it. But it's all over it, right? So it's, it's down the back. It's very similar to that other Zara jacket that had the colorful embroidery. That's true. How much do we still have for? I don't remember. Uh, we still have it, actually. Oh, do we? And people have been asking about it, but it hasn't actually found the right home yet. <laughs> we. We may also have up-priced it, because when I fall in love with something, I do up-price it. Does, she does that. Yeah. It does usually end up selling, though. So this actually has pockets as well. Yeah. Pockets. So pockets. I, I'm very happy with this. And if I have to keep it again, it's my size. Um, so this is the Madewell. Size extra small, black Yeah. Again, this is another thing that we wouldn't normally get because it's just so basic. But it was, I think, a dollar. Um, so we figured Madewell, a dollar, classic, like undershirt, good for layering. Also, it's your size, and you'll, te you'll keep it for a dollar. And you love when I wear Madewell. Yeah, she looks really great in it, Madewell. See, get yourself a man that hypes you up. Yeah. All right. Um, this is actually a funny one. 
So this is Tadashi Shoji, size 8. So we have actually sold this dress, but in purple. Yep. And it was a nightmare. Do you want to explain that whole situation? Well, apparently our dress had been hemmed or altered. I mean, that's the only way to explain the discrepancy in the length. Yeah. So no one wanted to buy it because it was altered. Yeah. And it just sat and sat. Yeah. And all of the other ones were selling for really good money. Yeah, and we ended up selling ours for like 30 bucks or something. Yeah. And we got it at the bins. And the funny part about it was I would repost it on Poshmark after somebody would comment saying, hey, I really like this dress. I have it in a bunch of different colors, but I don't have this one, but it's a different length than all the other ones I have and I don't understand. And I would repost it and the same person would comment again. And it just kept happening for months and months yeah. and months until finally, I believe it sold on eBay. I think so, yeah. Yeah. So I was just kind of like, yes, please, I'm done with these comments. I'm done. I'm over it. So hopefully this one is the right length. All right. So these are heels. Stuart Weitzman. Stuart Weitzman. So we are kind of all over the place with Stuart Weitzman. Some sell really great for really high prices and some don't sell at all. Yeah. But we thought these were really cute. They have a really cute bow on the front and they're in pretty good they're condition. I mean, except for a little bit of scuffing on the heels, they're basically, for yeah. the soles, they're basically new. Size 8. So that's the only spot. The rest of it, they're basically new. Yeah, so size 8, they are really cute. Don't see a lot of problems. So hopeful, uh, we did pay up a little bit for these, but I'm hoping that that's okay. I mean, if you're averaging out the, the trip, I think we'll be all right. So getting down to that, and why I mentioned my Brahmin wallet. This is the Oh, this is the first of the Brahmins. Yeah, so this is the one he found. Yes. So it is not their typical croc embossed, but what I did really like about it is it's a very classic look. So it can go with any outfit. If you're it's not, not... It's got the shoulder strap. It's also got the hand straps. Yeah. So if you're not looking for, you know, screaming, I have a Brahmin, you just kind of want a nice bag that you know is good quality, this is good for you. Um, that's it's going to take a little bit of cleaning on the inside, but it's not... Yeah. Anything major. It'll take a little cleaning, but I think somebody will really love this bag. I think it's going to be like a good everyday bag, so I'm happy with this. So, and then you found this one. Yes, this is actually the first item we found. And that is a Brahmin. Um, so, again, not their typical fully croc emboss, but this one does have croc embossing, so that's good. Um, and this one is in much better shape. It is in much better shape. Um, the leather is basically almost flawless. Almost new. Like, yeah. I mean, it's not new. It's clearly been used because there's a little bit of stuff in the, I mean, in there's the a, bag. There's a little bit of a gouge in there. But, but minor, 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 minor. And it's so, on the inside, so who cares? Yeah. So, I mean, there's really not much wrong with it. That's the bottom if you're curious. Um, but yeah, so it's really, really cute. Um, as we've said before, we sell a lot of Brahmins. Um, this particular store that we got this from is our honey hole, which we find quite a few Brahmins. We also find a lot of them on Facebook Marketplace. So yeah. If you're not looking there, make sure that you're doing that. Just kind of scroll through every once in a while and see. Sometimes people just sell them for 20 bucks for no reason. So, yeah, we picked up one not too long ago in uh, Burlington that was enormous. <laughs> it was so enormous. big. Enormous. It was like a bowling bag. I could fit your entire body in that thing. Like, it was huge. It was really, it was not a body bag size. No, but, but it was basically garbage bag size. Like it was huge. I just, it, it was. So, and I think it ended up selling for around 150, somewhere in there. 120, I think, 100 somewhere. Somewhere. It was a little bit over 100. Anyway, so uh, these are probably going to be closer. I mean, the one that he's got in his hand right now, this one I would think closer to like $75 range. I would uh, say probably this one is going to be more expensive with it too. I'd, I'd actually go. Say anywhere from 75 to 125. Yeah. And then the other one, depending on how it cleans up, it could be anywhere from 50 to 95, 50 somewhere to around there. Yeah, somewhere in yeah, that. somewhere in that range. So um, if you are looking for a new purse brand, definitely recommend Brahmin if you're not already. Buy them all. Yeah. So are we going to break these down into piles? Who got better? Yeah. Do you want to let them decide? I think so. Okay, let's do it. You. Me. Me. You, me, Nashi Shoji, me, Zara, you, J. Jill, embroidered, me, Stuart Weitzman's, uh, you, ASTR, me, Dreamers, me, Bailey, you can have it, take it, 44, you, Theory, yep, it's true, you, Madewell, that's true too, 
Me, Galvin, Sclam. Me, Free People. Me, Zara. You, J. Joe Corduroy. Yeah. You, Athleta. Yeah. And then you, Sasserotis. That is true. So. So basically even, and we were going back and forth yeah. this whole day going, I found this, and then I found this, I found that. Yeah, so if you guys don't know, the way we do our sourcing is we generally split up in similar aisles. So we'll stay close to each other because we only have one cart, um, but we don't do the same row. So generally speaking, he'll be, you know, the row next to me and I'll be right next to him and yeah. that kind of thing. So we don't see the same stuff, but we see similar sections. So let us know who you think won that battle because... I don't know. I think my Brahmin won it, is all I'm going to say. But I have Brahmin and Gal Meets Glam. Excuse you. Uh, well, but I have Brahmin and Tadashi Shoji. Yeah, but I also have Free People. Uh, but I also have Madewell. <laughs> so, uh, I have a lot of Zara. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, you guys let us know. I think this will be fun to see what you guys think. And maybe when we do a thrift with me in the future, we will do a battle. Yeah. Where we will do it separately when we'll let them decide. Yeah? And then... What does the loser Rift have to battle. do? I don't know. Maybe I can make you wear like a female outfit. Like like a... Oh, I was going to go way mean, more mean-spirited. I thought you were going to say, make me shave my beard. That's a punishment to me. <laughs> I don't know. We will see. Maybe you guys can decide on a punishment. Let us know. Um, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And let us know who you think won this thrift battle. Comment down below. Thank you for watching. Thank you.